uh, yeah, so that was a very frustrating game. That was definitely a very frustrating game for me. Um, not feeling too great, so I was hoping that Arsenal would be able to cheer me up with a nice little victory, but we missed a lot of chances. We I don't know what happened. The Bambiyan scored three goals, missed three, three chances um, this week. Well, tonight, it was a shambles. I don't know what happened. We controlled most of the first half, so we did that. We made sure that we were able to do the right stuff. We were passing. In the first half, we were passing correctly. We were passing directly to each player. We were doing everything that we had to do. But then, for some reason, we just couldn't finish the goals. We had three chances in the first half that should have been goals. Um, Bamiyan missed one right in front of the goal. Uh, we walked the ball into the box. Somehow we ended up getting the ball outside the box. It was a very frustrating time. And now we've got to move on. Well, now we've got to move on to Man City on Sunday. So, again, this is going to be very interesting. And ugh, the next tie is everything all, all or nothing. If Arsenal not win it, then we're out. We need to win it to be confident that we're going through. Um, a draw would not put us through. It will put us the extra time or straight to penalties. I'm not sure how Europa are doing it at the moment. But we're, they're doing poor. We're, that was just poor. Um, Bamiyang missed three, three beautiful chances. It wasn't what I was expecting from him. I was expecting something special. But he sort of let... Didn't, he didn't live up to expectations that we were all expecting from him. Uh, it was wrong pass options. We had chances where Bellerin was running down the field with the ball instead of passing it into Odegaard. That was wide open with probably like 20 yards of space around him. Kept on running, didn't pass it. It was quite shocking and it was actually very, very abysmal at, to what we were doing. Again, I don't know what's going on with this team. You can't. You're playing amazing one week. And then you play absolutely terrible the next. It's it is it is it is very 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 frustrating and very very confusing because it doesn't make sense. It makes no sense as to why this is happening, but we're not we're not performing how we should. It week in week out, game in game out. The Leeds game, I had so much confidence after that Leeds game. I was like, yes, that's what's gonna happen. We're gonna win this game and we're going to dominate. And it didn't happen. So now it's off to Athens next week, Thursday. Win that if we win that game, we're through. If we don't, then that's our title chances. That's our cut situation gone. Uh, all we have to do is focus on the Premier League and get back into the top six to get back into Europe, which I don't want to happen. I'd rather us get back and just win this game, win the next game, and just carry on pushing. But again, we're not doing what we're supposed to do. Um, thank you all for joining this, in the stream. Um, it was a very trying situation. Um, one th there is one more thing. David Luiz and Gabriel are one of the same. They both try to play out of the box. Like there's, You don't need to play out of the box. Stop doing it. We have our attackers to play that position. <sighs> a penalty call because Smith Rowe had his hand up. The ball hit him on his chest and then hit his hand and it went out. It's a bit harsh, like VAR did. I don't think VAR even checked it, but a penalty is a penalty, I guess. They scored in the 55th minute, and then we responded very, we responded very, very well with Sakos getting that goal. But we can't afford to have things like that happen. We need to be able to punish teams, and when we have the when we have the chances to, if we don't punish the teams, then we're going to be in a very, we're going to be in a lot of trouble, a lot of trouble if we're not punishing teams when we have the opportunities to. We can't do that on Sunday against Man City. We need to be able to we need to be able to put that ball in the back of the net when we have the chance. Once we have the chance to put that ball in the back of the net, we need to punish Man City if they ever if we get that opportunity because it will be a riot. They will literally rout us probably four or five if we don't get our shit together, if we don't start scoring goals when it's meant to be done. We are not a rubbish team. We don't have shit players on our squad. But we're just not finishing everything that we meant to do. And it's getting to that point where, why? What are you lot doing? What, what's, what's different? What's, what needs to be changed for you lot to get your confidence back to start start scoring goals? Like, we thought that, oh, Aubameyang scored a hat-trick on the weekend. 
Yes, Aubameyang is going to do amazing this week. Aubameyang missed three opportunities to score a goal. Three. Not one, not two, but three. This game could have been over by... This this leg, this, this whole leg could have been over tonight. Four away, four away goals. Four away goals. No teammate coming back from that apart from Barcelona. Well, apart from Barcelona against PSG, Liverpool against Barcelona. But still, you don't actually expect teams to come back from them type of goals. So we've literally shot ourselves in the foot knowing that we could have won this game, but we didn't. That's the thing that's really annoying. We didn't win this game, we drew it. So now we go to Athens next week with the chance of losing and getting knocked out of this cup. This game should have been dead tonight and everyone played... I can't even say everyone played poor, but we had moments where we just weren't communicating. We weren't passing the ball directly to each other's feet. We were outrunning each other. We weren't doing the right options. It was... It, 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 it's frustrating. That's all it is. It's just beyond frustrating. And it gets to the point where I'm annoyed. And I am going to be here Sunday again doing a watch along. Yes, I will be because I love the team. And I'm a sucker for, I'm a sucker for pain, apparently. So, Arsenal, we need to kick into gear. We've got Man City on the weekend. As long as we don't lose that game badly or whatever, we need to get our confidence. A draw, I'll take a draw for that game, but I will discuss all of that in my preview that will be released on Saturday. But, again, it's just frustrating. But, please, thank you all for joining Again, thank you all for joining the stream. Thank you all for watching the video. Please give us a subscribe on YouTube, a follow on Twitch, and follow me on Twitter. Uh, all, the, all the links will be in the bio. And thank you all for doing this once more joining me for watching Arsenal play and watch, sharing my pain. Just sharing my pain a lot. Um, thank you all and have a good and blessed weekend. Thank you. Bye.